Hello, my lovelies, and welcome back to Firewatch. My name is Brinton, and like I told you um, in the end of part five, I took the liberty of... Crap, sorry, I didn't even pause it. I took the liberty of coming from the gate all the way down here to the medicine wheel. Um, when I approached where I am now, um, what's in, uh, Henry updated the fire break, where the um, scouts had burned away on, along the Ruby River here. Um, and additionally, on my way down here, Delilah was um, got on the radio and was explaining to me how unsafe she felt because um, of the recent events that just barely happened, where we're finding out that somebody is uh, eavesdropping and stalking us, essentially. Um, but I am going to go down to that catch really quick, and then we'll head on over to this uh, scout camp. So... So yeah, they just uh, recently burned all this. I guess this is, um, it's a controlled fire. It's actually something that they do. Uh, I learned this in my natural disasters class. I can't exactly remember why they do it, but it's just, um, I just know that it's something that they do to help control, control forest fires, I believe. I'm not entirely sure. Um, so clearly I forgot, but that is just how the cookie crumbles, my friends. Let's go ahead and mark up our map again. And we may have completed it. Um, yeah, it shows a trail there. I think I've opened all of them, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but I feel pretty good with what I have found. Um, three blunt rat. Oh, three blind rats. Oh, it's a book. Okay. I was like, uh, anything else in here that I could use? But it doesn't look like it. So I just need to follow. Again, I just need to look at this like, really quick. Um, ch -ch 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 it looks like if I follow this, this river here, then I will find the trail that I'm looking for that will lead me down to the scout camp. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, and ask the nice firefighters to go and tear down the, what's it called, that fence for us so we can get to the Wapiti station. And I'm really liking this music that's playing in the background. Um, actually, on my way down here, uh, this music, this uh, this soundtrack actually started to play, and it was really nice. Just because, um, just because I am recording this right after part five, and I am still a little jittery because I don't know if something else is just gonna like pop out of nowhere and smack me on the back of the head. Um, <laughs> because I will not like that. Wrecked snowmobile. There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah? Where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. Because it's called Pork Pond? Pond. It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den or, you know, anywhere. <laughs> She's got a good point, but people are so weird stealing, like, some of the most random shit. Um, Pork Pond! There it is. Okay, and I'm close to the scout camp, so I've actually been going in the right direction this entire time, which is nice because I was kind of doubting myself there for a brief moment. Is this it? Yeah, I'm gonna guess this is it. Camp Arapaho. You're there? Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the 50s. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. I don't like how that sounds, but it is my only option, so I am gonna have to do it. Holy crap, Henry, no! Ah! Okay. <laughs> I'm guessing I'm almost there. 
Here it is. You ever talked to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. <laughs> he wasn't scout material. <laughs> I got the sense that boy could barely tie his shoes, let alone a clove hitch. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Does it say anything of note? Hmm. Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would need someone to give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Us. They're researching us. You, you think they're studying you and me? I do, yeah. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. Like, if you put someone in isolation with someone else, what they do. Yeah, that's what I think. Well, fuck that. Agreed. I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? I'm gonna do a scan for supplies and then figure out a way to get back over that ravine and hike towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Oh, I don't like that. Um, but literally, I'm guessing... I guess I could read this really quick. Um, Dr. Simmons... Uh, re oh, okay. Squad boss Carson, the next few days you and your team will be dropping into the thoroughfare region of the uh, Shoshone National Forest to cut a fire line south of Ruby River. I'm writing you on behalf of Dr. Ben Simmons at Wapiti Station. He reached out to the superintendent with wildfire concerns about his research site. Upon your return, someone from his office will want to speak with you as part of the wildfire risk assessment of the region. I told him they have nothing to worry about and that your team's fire lines are the most potent preventative measure to protecting their site, even though they'll do more than a mile away. But I think they've got insurance companies to answer to. Thanks always for your service. Okay, I'll just keep that. And I'm going to pick up this trowel. I found a little trowel. Maybe I should take it with me. Use it to pop open beers. Wow, um, 99% sure that's for burying poop. And I'm holding it. Maybe drop it? <laughs> okay, obviously I'm not using that. Um, Alright, so we're going to make our way back to the Wapiti station. I'm guessing we need to get supplies too. Uh, nope, we're just going to return to that meadow. Lovely. Um, okay, we got, uh, we got quite a bit of way to go, so let the random commentary begin. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, I'm a little freaked out. I do not like the fact, um, is it not going to let me go this way? Okay. Wait, what the heck? Okay, that was weird. I, like, was glitching in the ground. Like, I was glitching in the game. I did not like that. But, um... But I also don't like the fact that there is someone stalking us. And I really... How do I... I need something to chop this down. And then I can get across. So I'm guessing that there are some sort of supplies in this campground that I can use so that I can get back to the station. Let me do some. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. 
Is there anything in here? Not in that one. Let's go over here. There are bear traps out here in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. Oh, I could have read that missing persons report. I definitely did not. Whoops. Um, I am just trying to find something that I can use to chop down that tree. Preferably an axe if it's around here somewhere. Um, I don't even know where it would be. Uh, let's go back over to where the firefighters were originally and see if there's anything over here that I can use. Um, there's some toilet paper. Anything up over here? Um, great. Oh, Axe, where art thou? Where could you be, little buddy? I just want to use you for my pleasure. I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm hmm Screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. Okay. Well, obviously, I am trying to find something that will allow me to clear my path because I know it has to be around here. There wouldn't, like, they wouldn't design a game and put you into a level where you're unable to progress forward. Um, I know what I need to find is around here somewhere, and it shall be found, whether it likes, whether it wants to be or not. That's what I'm going to say. End of story. Where the F is this axe? All right, guys. I made a very clear and evident cut there because look what I found. Uh, I found an axe. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. It looks like an axe to me. This thing will be a huge help. For both getting through the backcountry and getting through that fence. Yeah, I'm out of here. And now I can clear this crap. I felt so stupid, you guys, because I actually had to look up where the hell that axe was online. And when I saw where it was, I was just like, are you kidding me? I was so mad. I wonder how many freaking times I passed that area not knowing that that is where the axe was. Oh, man. It made me... I don't know. Frustration has a name, and and its name is Axe. Um, but now I can go back up to the station, because if I am not mistaken... Stop it. Yeah! Sweet. So let's, um... So let's go ahead and jog back up to... I, I had a thought. Oh, Delilah, you scared me. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? No, don't don't start talking, Delilah, about this. In and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <laughs> Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Get in your tower, shut the door, don't leave, and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you.
thoroughfare tower. This is Two Forks calling you for the oh, 50th time today. The flapjack fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? I didn't sleep a wink last night, and I've been going crazy for the past six hours of sunup. How are you so chipper? Well, it's a new day. What a day, this day we've been given. Maybe I am actually asleep right now. Maybe I didn't stay up all night knowing that someone is... I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Um, yep, it's there. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Let me look at it and I'll tell you. No, you don't need to tell me, just, um, internalize it. It's, it's a great tree, and there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. She's clearly talking in code. Um, yes, I did examine my poster. Um, which tree am I supposed to internalize again? Top row, second from the left. Head to a place named after that tree, and you'll have a wonderful afternoon. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Radio me the moment you get there. Oh, okay. Well, let's go to Cottonwood Creek! derp a derp a derp Um... Yeah, so we've, we've been to Cottonwood Creek. Like, that's where we were before all of this happened. Um... Like, that's where we were before the day ended yesterday. So I guess we'll just head back over there. Anyway, last thing I want to say about this whole ordeal, I do not like how there is somebody stalking us. Especially out in the woods like this. I mean, this just has axe murderer all over us. Like, written all over us. But I have a feeling that he is, um... I have a feeling that this is connected to those two teenage girls going missing uh, two months ago, according to game time. Um or time that's passed in the game. Oh my gosh, this is making me feel super uneasy and I don't like this at all. Uh, but let's head down to Cottonwood Creek, take a nice little morning hike. I believe I'm going in the right direction. Da 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 da. And yeah, I'm going the right direction. I just got to, I just have to pass this river. Oh, I didn't close that, um, that cash box. Let me take care of that really quick. Okay. Now that is closed. Let's go over this way because I think we can tear down the brush that's in our way. No, we're just already here. Okay. So we want to go to the right then. Okay, Delilah, what am I doing here? Tell me what I'm doing here, Delilah.
Are we talking about this tree? I'm in Cottonwood Creek, so not entirely sure what she wants me to do. Feeling a little lost, Delilah, and I don't like it. Wait, is there something that we can, like, break apart over here with our axe? Nope, that is like the edge of... Edge of the map. Sorry, I am not thinking because I'm trying to figure out what the hell Delilah wants me to do. I feel like I'm just running around in... I'm not running around in circles. I shouldn't say that. Oh, here we go. Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? Uh, it must be around here somewhere. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's 5678. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. Got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry. We have to get into that site. Whatever these people are doing is illegal, right? Are you okay? I don't know, Henry. People have been listening to us all summer. How is this actually happening? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm scared. Are there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? <sighs> this is just happening to us. Everyone else is fine. Are you sure? Yes. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. Our fucking state coordinator asked if I was just having lady troubles. So no, this isn't happening to anyone else and I'm done asking. Look, I'm headed back to the gate and now that I've got an axe, we'll know something soon. You need to get into that site. Call me when you find something. Okay, you guys, this is a good place to end the video off here. Um, and I know I'm going to have to make you wait a five whole days to see what's going to happen next. Uh, I just thought of... No, Delilah, I'm about to end the video. Shut up. Oh, Delilah, what is it? What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks back. Oh, shit. Shit. My thoughts exactly. Our radios were tapped. And now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Fuck, Delilah. Fuck, indeed. We really need to get to the bottom of this. Oh my freaking gosh, Delilah, you're an idiot. Well, guys, I'm going to end the video off here. Uh, please leave me a like. It does let me know that you are enjoying the series. Things are starting to get super, super interesting. Uh, don't forget to subscribe so that in five days you can be notified of Firewatch Part 7. My name is Bridget. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you all next time. Bye!